Hey guys, I'm here in a uh, Civil War battle line. And as you can see, I just got a uh, Confederate ringtail sharks. Came out of this hole about four inches deep. It's a screaming signal. Okay, just got this uh, Derringer bullet here. Pretty sure it's period. They're in too many old home sites around here, so I'd assume it's period. Three rings on there. It's been fired. It's like on one side. So, that's a good find. Let's see if we can get any more. Okay, guys, I just got a really weird signal. It was kind of in the 80s, and it would jump up to 95 every now and then. But I decided to dig it anyway, and as you can see, there's a lot of soot and iron and nails and all kinds of stuff in this hole. But I just used the pointer, and right off to the side is this uh, Colt revolving rifle bullet right here. Uh, 56 caliber, two ring. Went to the 1855 model Colt revolving rifle. So uh, I, t I can track that down to the exact regiment that was here. So. That's really awesome. Hopefully we can get another one. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see that down there, but there's another bullet sitting here. It's got a flat base. Looks like maybe a, a Spencer. Yeah, pretty sure it's a Spencer. So uh, that was a terrible signal. There's plenty of iron. Here's a piece of pottery in here. Lots of cool stuff in this ground. I'm just having to choose my signals and see if I can pick something out of the iron. Alright, we'll see if we can get any more. Okay, I'm at a spot I researched and there was a uh, Civil War site here. And uh, as you can see, it's a newer home, but they haven't messed with the dirt too much. But as you can see from right down there, I just pulled a uh, another bullet. and looks to be a carved one. Unless, no. Oh, it may be carved. It's a, uh, another Colt revolving rifle, it looks like. Yeah, another Colt revolving rifle bullet. So, uh, that's a pretty cool find. Let's see if we can get some more. Okay, guys, I'm at one of my old spots and just got a, uh, textbook bullet signal and it's a, uh, 69 caliber musket ball looks to be fired it's kind of smashed could have been stepped on though but uh that's pretty cool we'll see if there's any more in this little area okay guys i'm here hunting with the mine lab gpx 4500 in a uh, supposedly hunted out spot and got a really funny signal and as you can see right here it's only about five inches deep, but it's a uh, fired musket ball. So, uh, there's plenty of stuff still here. We'll see if we can squeak out a few more bullets or something. Alright. Okay, guys, still hunting with the GPX 4500 and down about seven or eight inches. I just got this uh, 58 caliber three ringer. So, there's still stuff in here. See if we can squeak out a button or something like that. Maybe even some good brass in here. Alright. Alright, I just got a screaming signal and expecting to dig a piece of aluminum. I was kind of shocked by that right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a 58 caliber three ringer. And that's like maybe two inches deep. So, that's freaking awesome. That's number two for the day. This one's in pretty decent shape. Looks like it's dropped. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go get some more. Alright, I just got a bottle cap signal. And like, literally, probably a fourth of an inch down. You can see there's a Sharps carbine bullet laying right there. It's unusual to find him this shallow. And this one's just been laying there the whole time. So that's pretty cool. Guess I'll be digging the shallow signals now. <laughs> 